In this video, we are going to talk about what advancements and features will be brought to the JF-17 Block 3 Thunder, and what new weapons will be integrated with the JF-17 Block 3 Thunder. There's a lot of information to know in this video, so make sure to stick to the whole video, it will really be worth watching the video. If we talk about the weapon upgrades, the JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will be integrated with H-2 and H-4 bombs, which are actually standoff weapons. The previous blocks of JF-17 Thunder are already been integrated with Takbir bombs, which are also standoff munitions. But their range is less as compared to H-4. On the other hand, JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will be integrated with Rod Air launched cruise missiles. As we have seen in the previously released pictures of JF-17 Block 3 prototypes, the ground clearance of JF-17 Block 3 Thunder has been increased, just for using these kinds of weapons. The JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will have more advanced and upgraded avionics. JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will be integrated with a wide-angled holographic heads-up display, derived from the one used by the J-20 Stealth Fighter. A new helmet-mounted display will be used in JF-17 Block 3 Thunder, which will be way more advanced and lighter than used in Pakistani F-16s. This helmet-mounted display will be integrated with the PL-10E missile. As we know, the PL-10E is a high off boresight missile, so it will be a deadly combination. The JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will have an extra hardpoint under the fuselage for target designation reconnaissance or ECM pods. It will help it to carry more advanced electronic countermeasure pods like KG-600 and KL-700, or other various pods. As we know the JF-17 Block 3 Thunder is built with composite materials, but more interestingly later JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will be coated with RAM coating. RAM is an abbreviation of radar absorbent material. Basically, this RAM coating will reduce the RCS of JF-17 Block 3 Thunder. More importantly, the JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will have a fully three-axis fly-by-wire system. As we know that the previous blocks of JF-17 Thunder did not have a fully three-axis fly-by-wire system. As we know, the JF-17 Block 3 Thunder uses Link 17 as a data link. The upcoming JF-17 Block 3 Thunder will have a more advanced data link which means Link 17 has been upgraded and made more advanced. That's what I've got for you today. If you like this video, like it or share it with your friends. Press the bell icon to get notified as the new video lands on the channel and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.